Are you ready to discover the meaning of the Chariot Tarot card? Well, in this video, I'm going to reveal exactly what this card means in any kind of reading, whether it's about love, career, finance, spirituality, or even just a general reading. And I'm going to show you how to interpret this card when it's upright or reverse. So that way you are never going to go blank on this card again. So let's jump right in. Now, the chariot represents control, willpower, success, action, and determination. And the chariot card shows this brave warrior standing inside of a chariot. And he wears armor that's decorated with crescent moons, and they represent what's coming into being. And he also has this tunic with a square, and this square is symbolic of his strength of will. Now, his crown also has these star signals around it, and it really shows his spiritual evolution. In his right hand, he carries a wand, just like the magicians, and although he appears to be driving the chariot, he actually isn't holding any reins. And what this signifies is that he controls through the strength of his will and his mind. Now, the charioteer also stands very tall. There's no sitting down for this guy because he's all about taking action and moving forward. Then above his head is this canopy, and it suggests his connection to the celestial world and the divine will. And at the front of the vehicle are these like a dark and a light sphinxes, and they're also facing in opposite directions. And this really represents duality. It represents positive and negative and opposing forces. Now, even though these sphinxes aren't moving in the same direction, the charioteer appears to use his willpower and his sheer resolve to steer the chariot in the direction that he wants. Now, with the lover's card, which comes just before this one, you've discovered how to make decisions in alignment with your values. And then with the arrival of the chariot card, you're taking action on these decisions. So you've set your objectives and now you're channeling that inner power with a fierce dedication to being able to bring your goals into fruition. And it's when you apply this discipline, this commitment and willpower that you will succeed with achieving your goals. It's a very encouraging card to come up in your reading. Now the chariot also signifies that now is not the time to be passive in the hope that everything's just going to work out in your favor because you need to take focused action. You need to stick to the course, no matter what challenges come your way. Because believe me, there will be challenges. You will be pulled in opposite directions. And you have to find your strength and your conviction. So others might try to block you. They might try and distract you, drag you down as you pursue your goal. But the chariot is urging you to really draw upon your willpower and to really home in on what's essential to you so that you can push past the obstacles in your way. Now, if you're curious about whether you've got what it takes to achieve your aim or complete an important project, then the chariot is a sign that you will be successful so long as you have your focus and you remain confident in your abilities. So you've got to use that willpower and self-discipline to concentrate on the task at hand. You can't cut corners, you can't take the easy route, otherwise you will fail. So instead, you've got to see this endeavor as a test of your strength and your conviction. And you've got to recognize that victory, it's within reach, but it's up to you to follow through. Now, in a very literal sense, a chariot can represent things like travel, especially driving or taking a road trip. You might even be considering selling your home and buying an RV so you can go and head off and roam the country. Now, when it comes to relationships and love, then the chariot suggests that now is the time to pursue your goals and to do the things that you want to do. So you might have made many sacrifices along the way to meet the needs of others and to allow your relationships to develop. But now is the time for you. And it's time for you to really follow through with what you want in relationships. And this card is about navigating the opposing forces in your life to get to where you want to be. So you definitely have a bit of work to ahead, but it is necessary and it will only strengthen you. Now, if you're in a bit of a challenging relationship, the chariot can show you that you're having difficulty steering it in the direction that you want. You know that you both share this really strong connection and you make each other stronger, but the chariot suggests that you're struggling to really take it to the next level. You realize that the current situation is not sustainable, but you're finding it hard to change. 
If you're looking for love, the chariot advises you, don't lower your standards. Don't compromise on what you want. Even if you don't have the right relationship now, your determination will lead you to the outcome that you want. Now, when it comes to career, work and finances, the chariot invites you to assert yourself in the workplace, take control, be responsible and accountable, and maybe even step into a management or a leadership role at work. If you put in the hard work, you get the job done, you will be successful. But don't let others push you around. You've got to set your boundaries, be unwavering in what you believe in and what you stand for. If you're seeking out work or you're considering a career change, then the chariot advises you to really stay focused on your goal and do not give up. Be disciplined in your search and make sure that any new opportunities are aligning with your own expectations and goals. And if you're having conversations with a potential employer, take the lead and interview the organization to ensure that they're the right company that you want to work for. Financially, the chariot encourages you to create a financial plan based on your goals. So set a budget, have a savings plan, and then stick to it. You might need to sacrifice a few luxuries, but in the long run, it will pay off. Now, what happens if you see the chariot in a spiritual reading? You may need to exercise a little bit more self-discipline and willpower to stay on track with your spiritual goals. Hold your focus, keep striving to achieve your aim, and even if others question what you are doing. Now, what happens when you see the chariot reversed in your tarot readings? Well, instead of moving full steam ahead with a project and pushing past any obstacles, which is what our upright chariot indicates, the reversal may be telling you to actually back off or change direction. And the reverse chariot may also reveal that you've lost some of that motivation. You're no longer feeling as committed to the outcome as you did when you started. So if something's not moving forward as you planned, then reevaluate the situation. Check in to see if it's a sign that you need to change course and ask yourself, is there a deeper reason that things have become more challenging? What's the lesson I can learn here? Now, at times, the reverse chariot is a warning that you're letting obstacles and challenges get in the way, and it's preventing you from achieving what you set out to do. And it's all getting too hard for you, and you might even get to that point where you just want to give up and not continue on this path. Now, if this resonates, you're feeling a connection with this, then I want you to stop for a moment and just think about the things that matter most to you and why you want to achieve this goal. And are you going to let other people's opinions and life get in the way and be this thing that's going to lead you to giving up because it's all getting too tough? Or are you going to follow through on your commitment? You might consider focusing your energy and your attention on your internal processes as well, such as self-discipline, inner determination and personal commitment, because these internally focused actions, they're essential so that the time comes for you to act, you are going to be ready. So home in on those intentions that really align with your higher self, or you can use visualization and meditation to make sure that your energy aligns with your goals. Now, if you're someone who loves to be um, in command over your destiny and you know where you're heading, then the chariot reversed may indicate that you are currently a little bit off track and you are actually not in control of all of the outcomes. Now, I get it, this can be quite demoralizing, but the key is to look at what you can control and what you cannot. Don't allow yourself to worry about what's out of your grasp as you can't change it now. And instead, focus your energy on what is in your control. Look at what you can do to improve the situation. Now, similarly, the chariot reverse suggests that you might be micromanaging every minute detail in your life. But in doing so, you actually end up feeling more out of control. So just loosen that grip, let things run their course and be open to offers of help and then be grateful for what you receive, even if it's not perfectly aligned with your expectations. You don't have to always be in the driver's seat. Now, if you want to learn more about the tarot cards, then I've got something really special for you. It's my tarot card meanings reference guide. It's absolutely free. Just click on the link below to get access and you will never go blank in a reading again. And if you want to learn more about how to read tarot in a more modern and approachable way, there's so much more for you to explore here at Vidi Tarot. We've helped literally millions of people around the world to develop their tarot skills 
and read the cards with confidence. And of course, we would love to help you do the same. So take the next step in your tarot journey and click on the links below. Hey, if you love this video, then make sure you check out this next video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.